Today we review Veronica Mars, the 2014 movie, not the TV series of the same name. I've actually never watched that TV series, so I didn't know what this was going to be about. What I knew about the movie is the fact that it had that Kickstarter campaign and Kristen Bell was going to be in it, and that's really all I knew. With that being said, I did find this movie very enjoyable. The movie is continuing on, the Veronica Mars universe, I guess, uh, and you can tell that because the cast is pretty much uh, all returning from the show, which is very good for continuity and uh, for their audience, of course, to be happy with the movie. But some of the people that I found surprising in the cast, there's Kristen Ritter. She's Gia Goodman, and she is from Breaking Bad as Jane. You'll remember Jane as Jesse Pinkman's girlfriend. She's the one that uh, OD'd and Walter White let die in front of him. And then the whole airplane thing, but that's Breaking Bad. We're back to uh, Veronica Mars. Jerry O'Connell shows up in this. I don't think he was in the original. He plays a corrupt sheriff, Dan Lamb. He gets his comeuppance, which is good. Chris Lowell's at this as uh, Piz. I didn't really like Piz. He didn't have much of a backbone in this, but I could understand why he has known Veronica. And uh, Veronica went back to Neptune to deal with Logan due to the fact that Logan is in the middle of a murder investigation because of his girlfriend's uh, death. We follow Veronica through trying to uncover who actually killed uh, Bonnie DeVille, who was Carrie Bishop in the uh, show, I guess. She changed her name to Bonnie DeVille when she became a pop star. And due to the fact that Logan has a history of violence, um, he is the key suspect. He was also found passed out next to the body, so there is that. However, we do follow Veronica through the whole investigation process, and uh, there are lots of twists and turns that I hadn't seen coming at all, and at the end it did surprise me. Uh, I tried to pay attention, but it still slipped past me. But it is a good movie, and uh, I don't know compared to the show how it holds up, but as its own entity, it is great. I don't think that movies based on shows have any bearing real on how you need to view the show. Also in this, I did like the fact that we had some uh, cameos. James Franco's in this trying to put on skinny jeans. And also Justin Long is in this. As we've seen in Zack and Mary Make a Porno, he is quite a hit at reunions. And he is at the high school reunion in Neptune when they do arrive. And uh, I just like seeing Justin Long. So overall, I'd say it is a good movie. The cast is excellent. Uh, they all knew their characters, obviously, since they are coming back from the TV show. But I felt that they were believable. The script at times felt a little childish. It was rated PG-13, so that could have been some of the issue. 14A rating, I think, would have been a little better for this. With that being said, Veronica Mars is a keep. Right now, it has a 7.4 on IMDb. Some people aren't happy with that. Uh, I would give it like a 7, but it is a keep, and that's all that matters. If you want to reach me, you can do so on Twitter at MadLFan, or use hashtag TodayWeReview. You can also leave suggestions in the comments down below. Thanks for watching today we review.